Welcome to DC Water's Blue Plains Advanced Wastewater Treatment Plant. My name is George Hawkins and I have the honor of serving as General Manager for DC Water. This video is going to explain to you how this facility at Blue Plains does more to protect water quality and public health for this entire region. This plant, which is 153 acres, takes water that we as people have used in every capacity, whether it's coming down a drain, a toilet, a shower, a car wash, or even off of city roads, and through 1,800 miles of pipes, brings that flow to this facility. Here we cleanse that water through a process that's highly technical and innovative to cleanse it before it's discharged to the Potomac. What we do here protects the Potomac River and its tributaries, the Anacostia and the Rock Creek, and protects it from pollutants that otherwise would come from Montgomery County, Prince George's County in Maryland, Fairfax and Loudoun in Virginia, and of course, Washington, D.C. What you will learn in this video is the incredible complexity, innovation, and creativity of this facility and the remarkable people who work here. What we do every single day is protecting public health and environmental quality for the river and streams of this entire region. Welcome to the video. I hope you learn all about how we serve you, the public, and everyone in this region. Thanks so much. The wastewater treatment process screening and grit removal. Preliminary treatment of the incoming raw wastewater is necessary to remove large non-biodegradable materials. Fine screens and aerated grit chambers remove all kinds of debris like cans, bottles, small sticks and rags. We send up to four truckloads of this debris to landfills every week. The second step is grit removal. Aeration or forcing air through diffusers agitates the water and allows the grit to settle. Aeration keeps the lighter solids suspended, which helps to release the gases. The heavier grit settles to the bottom of the grit chamber, where submersible pumps vacuum it up. Primary treatment. Primary treatment is a physical process that separates solids and liquids even more. In cone-shaped tanks, wastewater percolates up through the center of the clarifiers. Sludge settles to the bottom, and buoyant solids like oils, grease, and hair float to the surface, creating scum. Rakes rotating at the bottom collect the sludge, while skimmers remove the scum. Secondary treatment is a biological process that uses microbes to treat and remove organic materials from wastewater. Microorganisms treat organic waste in reactors, and gathered solids settle out in sedimentation basins, leaving the water cleaner. The secondary reactors treat wastewater through an activated sludge process. This sludge is considered active because it is loaded with living microorganisms that eat the organic wastes suspended in the water. During their feast, they convert the chemical properties of the waste. Many wastewater treatment plants stop at this point, but Blue Plains discharges to the Potomac and eventually the Chesapeake Bay, so we must remove more nitrogen to protect the watersheds. Nitrification, denitrification. The first step of tertiary treatment is oxidizing the nitrogen from ammonia to nitrate, or nitrification. The next step is denitrification, which converts nitrate to nitrogen gas and releases it safely into the air. The difference in these processes is the use of oxygen. Methanol is added as a carbon source of food for microbes to continue their work. Filtration and disinfection. Filtration process polishes the water even more to meet some tough regulatory requirements. Multimedia filters remove very fine particles of organic and inorganic solids. The sand and anthracite filters have two working layers to trap and attract solid particles. At this point, the wastewater appears virtually clear to the human eye, but some small particles remain suspended in the water. Discharge. The flow is disinfected with chlorine to kill the pathogens. Sodium bisulfate is added to the water to remove all traces of chlorine prior to being discharged to the river. After disinfection, 
The treated wastewater flows out to the Potomac River at the rate of 4,000 gallons per second. The water discharged from the plant is cleaner than the river itself. Thickening and dewatering. Streams containing the solids come from various areas of the plant. To reduce the volume of the solids, they must first be concentrated or thickened. Gravity thickeners receive solids that have settled in the primary treatment process. The thickened solids are collected at the bottom of the tank and routed to centrifuges, while surface liquids flow back to the secondary treatment process. The centrifuges spin at high speeds to throw water out of the solids like the rinse cycle of a washing machine. Once the solids are processed, their consistency is similar to putty, biosolids and use. Biosolids are the recyclable and biodegradable materials that are removed from the liquid treatment process and treated. Most of the biosolids go on to serve as nutrients for farmlands, while the rest are used as natural fertilizer for tree farms or as topsoil to promote grass growth on damaged land such as strip mines. For many years, the final process for these Class B biosolids has involved using lime to stabilize them and reduce pathogens before delivering them to farmlands. The future of biosolids at DC Water involves processing them to generate combined heat and power. Recycling and Resource Renewal Starting in 2014, the Blue Plains facility will collect all solids and treat them with a thermal hydrolysis and digestion system. This will pressure cook batches of solids to eliminate harmful bacteria and prepare them for digestion. During digestion, a population of bacteria in large tanks converts organic matter, or carbon, to methane. Operators will capture the methane and feed it to a turbine where it will produce 10 megawatts of clean, green, renewable power, enough to run 8,000 homes. The digesters will convert half the solids to gas. The other half comes out as Class A biosolids, suitable for use in an urban setting for tree planting, rain gardens, green roofs, and restoration projects. Thank you for watching this video explaining the Blue Plains Advanced Wastewater Treatment Plan. I hope you have a sense of the size, scale, complexity, and innovation that goes into protecting the water and every living organism in this entire region. The people here take great pride in the work we do 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This plant works with everything that comes, changes to population, changes to development, climate change and hurricanes. We're here serving the public. We have great pride in the service we deliver to you, and we hope you feel pride in the work we do on your behalf as well. Thanks so much.